Hello guys. I'm so sorry guys. Just a lesson we had made a mistake and I've realized it after just the release of the video. So uh what we are going to do, we are going to first of all to correct the uh, the, the the mistake we did and we are going to discuss about how to display a page on the web page using the Django. So please let's open our project and this is where the problem come. Remember we run this collect static and first of all Python manage this is spelling mistake and you know programming there is no room for spelling mistake and omitting a word you are done and another problem came here when we were doing the the, the static we have seen it uh, somewhere in the in the settings here it is not here it is not static it should be static like that control s good and then you come here the url is okay and now we can go and run collect static for a media file to appear here for a media file that it can appear here let's go to PyCharm and run by the way don't uh, be confused how i'm doing it i'm just coming here and click here and uh, click here for the PyCharm after i open it no problem you can just uh, use them entirely it's not a must you code dot space dot every time you just use them straight away now let's run this one more time python manage manage.py collect static collect static and yes one that two first copied to C and they are in the web and it is in static. That is how let's see where it is. Now this one they have to be found here in static. You know there is the static inside there is static inside the home you see and there is another static outside okay the arm and when you will upload a picture or in database and you collect static one more time there will be media file whereby everyone in the world can access your your files in form of images so that what that what i was talking about now having said that we can come here back here and and uh, open setting one more time And say everything is okay now. I think I have no problem now. And even the best, the the the, the background uh, voice that you heard of uh, of a of a god around, it has been it has been it is not going to be hard today. And let's now deal with the second part of this. And that one, it is going to be in the templates in the templates it is uh it, it is html that is going to be hosted here html files 
but although there, there, there is a, a procedure of rendering them down, uh, for the basic beginners, before we, we just go to the render method and we come here and include our HTML in this uh, template, we can also, uh, for the sake of beginners, make it sim simpler. For, so therefore, today we are going to display, only displaying the page in the Django website, only that. And then next time is when we are going to come and render the HTML and then we start learning the HTML in deep, okay? So let's do it. First, for us to render an HTML page and open it on web page, we should have three ideas in our mind. One, it is called the idea of URLs. Number two, it is called the idea of views. So URLs and the views, very important. So how do we go about it? First, we come here and we go to the views. But before we go to the views, look here. There is no URLs. There is no URLs.py. So first of all, let's create the URLs in our home app like that. New files and we say urls.py urls.py now that is right all right that is right now when you look at the main hub here you see it has got urls here the URLs here, we can just copy. <laughs> uh, you will be, you will be, you'll be forgiving me because of that. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm training you bad. But you type, you type, please type, please do it. So when I copy this, when I control C this one. I will bring it here and paste it in to URLs. Please type, type this one. And then you say from django.urls import path, you know. Then after that, you come back here to the URLs and you copy all these one. They are similar. URLs pattern is URL pattern. Control C to come back here to the URL which we have created and paste it there. Now, this one, this one has got meaning and it means that in our home. So let, let me make it uh, somehow uh, 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 weak. Let me weaken it. URLs. These URLs, you know, when you search something from WAMP, you come, you come and search here, for example. This one is it's by convention. What is there? And it is connected to the hub. And what is inside this app URLs, it is what you see here. So there's no need of this one being here because this one is going direct to administration. And admin, it is for who own the website, which is you. And because you have the account of the administration. So what we do here, we just come here and Say let's let it be home for our our home page. So home dot views 
or to diffuse. We can give that home name. Name, we can give it a uh, home page. We can give it home page, but we can also give it home like that one. That is no big deal. And home.fuse, before fuse, you have to put comma. And you see there is underline. You see, this underline means a lot. What does that mean? It means something must be included and something must be infused. So, how can I uh, connect it so that you can get it easy? First of all, let's go to the views. And in the views, this one, we are going to say, we are going to include the, the views here. So what we do, from current folder import. So dot means current folder, the folder that has that is called home. From home, got home inside that app and take away take as the views import views like that. And we define the function here now. And we define the function like this. Day for definition and the function name is called home. Remember this home, it is the home that we are that is in the URL here. Home dot views. Alright? Don't make any mistake of saying where home is referring to. This home it is referring to the in the fuse that one that is coming from the fuse of the same app so om and we request it we request om we request and always the any function in the python it is ended with a colon like that then we are returning this page, okay? And we say return this page. And where are we returning to? For the first time, we should return it render. But for the very beginners, we are not going to use render run right now. We are going to use something else called page TTP response. HTTP response. And what we are going to put in H, uh, no, no, please, 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 no, not like this. HTTP response. So return HTTP response. And what we are going to return it is called OM with capital letters. Um, like that. Return home. Um. Then, because we are using the HTTP response, we have to import it from the Django. So we import it and we say from Django dot HTTP. And HTTP for your for your information means hypertext transfer protocol. So hypertext transfer protocol from Django hyper, uh, uh, that one import import HTTP HT. Uh, let me make it small. HTTP response. This one here. Yeah. And that is 
over. That is over. Now, remember, we have done something. What we have done in the URL, we have created the home, and the home is still, there is still, the, there is still, there is still something that is not working here. And that is not working is from current folder or current app import views. Uh huh. Uh, what is the problem? Views dot home. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry, it was not home.views, it's views.home. It is views.home. And therefore, there is no need of, <laughs> when we are in the views, we, there is no need of importing these views still. No need of importing views, so we can, we can, we can now clean our our code and let it remain like that. The best code is no code, and the the dry is the code. So premature optimization is also root of all evil when it comes to coding. Therefore, let's make it clean like that. And now we have done the definition of the field and we have imported the HTTP response from uh, the Django. So uh, next time, next lesson, this home will not be home. It will be home.html. But the response, it is assisting us to display this home in the web page without using the, H the real HTML. That is on the difference. So let's include this URLs. Let's include this URLs in uh, let's include this URLs in our main hub here in our main project. So there is another URL here. So this URLs they never know whether there is another URL existing from the other hub. So we are going to connect the arm with this, and this is how we do it. Let me separate it here and say include. We are going to include now. So include, and we are, what are we going to include? We are going to include another path. And we are going to include a path which is arm. Page. And when you when you you, you just uh, leave it blank like that, when you leave it blank like that, part blank, that means after you open a page, what comes in, it is the home page. So we can we can also uh, delete every we can clear this and we say include now include. And what we are including, we are including the OM hub URLs here. So OM hub dot URLs like that. And by convention, it should be inside the quotation marks like that. And then after that after all that we can save everything we save that one 
we save this one by control s and yes now let's try and see whether our home is going to display remember no uh, Remember normally when you display a web page, it was displaying the Django default page. But now we we are we have cut we have removed that Django uh, default page and we have we have uh, written our code and the code should display as to the, on that page the home with capital letters or with caps or with the upper case. So let's run our server. And we run our server like this Python. Python. Uh, no, 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 no. Python manage dot py run server. Run server. And then I click on. Yeah, and then. Let's see. Um, you see, and uh, that is how it should be. That how we do the home page display. Uh, we can also display so many other things. Let me display one more so that you can understand better. Here, in the in the URL, we want to display another 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 thing like. Let me uh, duplicate it here, and uh, I want now to display my name. My, uh, let me say, let me say, uh, test, test, and then. We should come here and say use dot test. Remember, we must create that test and here test. This one, this name, you will come to know about it more later. But for now, I just say it is it is referring to the page that exact page. Now. And you can use this uh, name to, to to differently within the website. That only the the, the 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 thing there. So view this text. Let's go to views, and in the views we create another function, and another function will be like please type. Don't just do like that, but you can do that like that if you are comfortable with that. But typing is good uh, procedure. So we do like that, and here we we say test with capital letters. We do test with the capital letters, and here we change this definition from home to test. With small letters and yes we control save and we control save and we check whether we can see it in our home page and we do it like this slash test slash test and click end and yes test with capital letters as come practice 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 all these and when we meet next time we shall replace the http response with the render method and also we shall also uh, use the html templates folder to store all our html so next time when we meet we shall be discussing from the scratch all 
understanding crash course of HTML. Everything you should know about HTML, we shall be discussing next time when we meet. Having said that, I wish you a good time. Thank you and welcome.